Next stop, Durankalak, 25 miles north of Cape Kaliakra on the Black Sea coast. If we can show that Durankalak was hit by a devastating earthquake and that it's connected to the Varna King, we may be one step closer to his capital and we may be closer than ever to finding Atlantis. This is actually how I imagined Atlantis would look. Plato said it was on a fertile plane. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, this is huge. Yeah, it's got little avenues here. This it's is... a proper town. The excavation at Durankalak is brand new, and the archaeologist leading it, Dr. Vladimir Slavchev, has agreed to let us study the site. Hi. Thanks nice to meet us. you. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Thanks for uh, coming. Oh. This Thank is you. the earliest place with stone architecture in continental Europe. I mean, the buildings are like this right angles and there's a street layout. We are staying on the earliest uh, corner of uh, the Asian cities. So this what? is the <laughs> oldest street corner in Europe. So it's like Times Square. Yes, or <laughs> somewhere in the crossland of the Broadway Street. I need I need a hot dog stand. <laughs> <laughs> you say it's the oldest stone structure. So how old is that? About uh, oh, yeah. four thousand nine hundred years BC. Wow. Right on target. Yeah. And yeah. this is like Varna culture. Is that correct? The site were occupied by Varna culture uh -huh. about uh, three hundred years. The prototype of any kind of architecture like, that you can see later during the Bronze Age uh, in Troy, then in uh, Greek periods, during the Roman uh, times. So everything that we see here is the beginning of the civilization, beginning of the culture as we know it today. Because I read that like street planning like this didn't occur till about 3000 BCE, so you just rewrote the history books. Yes, but... Uh... <laughs> That's great. I had a question, though. We're looking for any evidence of catastrophic events, like earthquakes or landslides, tsunami, anything like that. Uh-huh, let me show you. Oh, awesome. All right. All right, here we go. I can't wait to see this. Uh -huh. So, there we are. Oh, wow. It's collapsed. This, oh, this is cool. This is super cool. You wanted a catastrophe. Yeah. Earthquake. Yes, you're absolutely right. The wall uh, split it in two. Uh -huh. We can see the falling of the wall in two different directions. You can split the wall only when you have a shake. It's the way the waves move through the surface layer of the ground. You get side to side and you get wavy. And so absolutely. that would do this. Absolutely. These are substantial stones as well, so that yeah. could be a real good shaker. There's nobody under them, right? Don't, don't know I, we yet? We don't know, but okay. we'll see. Okay. No, seriously, what yeah. happened to the people? In the beginning, they immediately ran away. And because of the earthquake, everything here fell down. It was damaged. And fire starts. And because of this fire, everything was left on the same places that it was. Oh, because it was such a quick evacuation. When did this happen? It happened a little bit earlier than the middle of the fifth millennium BC. So what kind of date? 4,600 4, years BC. 4,650. I mean, that's, that's amazing. like- amazing! Right on the money. How did you guys find that out? Because of the study of the samples of uh, wheat that we found there uh -huh. and uh, uh, radiocarbon dates that we found there. Radiocarbon dates. Okay, now I can get excited because that is hard data. That like is... that's That's awesome. Dr. Slachev's team is digging up evidence of a highly advanced society at Durankalak, a place where the Varna king could have lived. One house contains an oven used for smelting copper and gold. Another find suggests they had priests or kings. For a very first time in human history, we have the first chiefs. What? So, looks like these, are, oh, yeah. <laughs> these are the seeds of wheat. So those are ancient wheat grains. This is where you got really your carbon-14 dating. Yeah. Absolutely. So this is the proof, first of all, of agriculture. 
second of all of radial carbon date that we have already done from there. Uh -huh. And third of all, as you see, it turns to charcoal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because of the fire. Carbon. Right. <laughs> so that, okay. you, that you dated to 4600 BC? Absolutely. And you ask why we are sure that these people left uh, the uh, houses so quickly? Yeah. So, yeah. not only because of the fire, okay. but for example, these tools are also proof of it. Yeah, this is a pin for tattoo. It's a tattoo needle. Oh, yes. yikes. I have tattoos and that looks a little bit, <laughs> that looks a little more unpleasant, but wow. And this stone was used for um, smelting the paint. Oh, so that tattoos. was for making so, the ink. Is that the color itself still? Yes, absolutely. Oh, so like a red ochre. So okay. they like wiped it on there to pick so, up the ink? Absolutely. Wow. wow. And Ancient tattoo ink. The tattoo is a symbol also of uh, social ranking. This is something that is very special. They're building houses, they're building streets, and they're getting tattoos. That's yeah. a that's an advanced society. If you're getting no. tattoos, like... yeah, tats are pretty pretty advanced.